Howdy, it's Tyler, and uh, today I'm going to be going over Jacob Litch's new title and uh, his new enforcer from the Malifaux Burns expansion book. So his new title, uh, his new title is Dark Bet, and as you can see, Jacob Lynch is looking a little bit rough. Uh, he's definitely my new favorite title. I really like what he does to the crew. Uh, from what I've read online, it seems like nobody likes him, which I find interesting. I, I thought he was awesome, but you know, other people could just be much smarter than I am. Or they might just not like that he's, like, brilliant style and not as awesome as he was. I can see why that would make people angry. So as you can see, he's got one more HP now, and his willpower went down one. Uh, he is still a master, so he will still be 3 AP. He will still have 3 AP. And uh, he turned from a weird support leader guy since like he's one of like this weird half half ones where like he has like an awesome totem but that makes him not be as awesome as some of the other leaders uh so now he can't summon and uh he has a much better melee attack his ranged attacks are gone uh so he's went from sort of an all-round leader to what I think is a more aggressive beat stick. But uh, it seemed like not everybody agreed with that. So abilities. Uh, so Consumed by Darkness, the first ability on his card, that's going to be uh, gone over in the next slide. But uh, if you hire him, if he's your leader, you attach an endless upgrade to the Hungering Darkness. Uh, so his next ability is Delirium. He shares this one with Tannin. So now that it's on him, you don't have to bring Tannin as much. But it does it does stack in a weird way. Where if it's your turn and you can do two different actions to give a guy brilliance on each of those actions, one of the Deliriums can go off. So, you can't use both of them on the same action, but it gives you two options to use it during one activation on two different uh, actions. Uh, basically, what it, what it lets you do is whenever a model within six gains a brilliance token, you can either move it up to two or have it suffer one damage. So, this gives you a little bit more damage or a little bit more uh, movement. And it sort of makes up for this Jacob Lynch not being, not having the when uh, an enemy cheats fate within six, it suffers a damage. So he has Luck Thief now. I think it's one of the best uh, defensive abilities in the whole game. When performing opposed duels and damage flips against this model, enemies treat all positives as as with as if they were negatives. So not only does it cancel out positives which would already be awesome. It actually turns them into negatives. So that right there would already be awesome. But also, whenever an enemy model fails in an action targeting the new Jacob Lynch, he heals too. So this is just two awesome things stapled together that do give him a lot of survivability from it just being one ability. Uh, he still has Rig the Deck too. Uh, he's same as before. Uh, you know, you get to draw two cards and paste two cards from your control hand on top of your deck. Uh, the one thing that he's good at doing that with is, uh, uh, Dragged Into the Dark, Looming Brilliance, Feed the Darkness. They all only need a five or a six. So, if you want to do one of these actions, it's a good way to get rid of your bad cards. Uh, so... As you can tell, he is no longer immune to brilliance. Now he has succumbed five. So he has the highest uh, succumbed in the game. And you'll see he has a couple ways to use it. Okay, so for the new upgrade for the Hungering Darkness. So if that Jacob Lynch is your leader, you, attacks, you attach 
this upgrade to the Hungering Darkness. This makes the Hungering Darkness become your leader and also a master. So this means both Jacob Lynch, Dark Betts, and Hungering Darkness get 3 AP. So that's very awesome. Uh, Demise Eternal Threat also gives the Hungering Darkness more survivability. Uh, once per turn, if it dies, you can put into base contact with the new Jacob Lynch. Uh, the Hungering Darkness e heals equal to Jacob Lynch's brilliance, then he takes that much damage and he can't reduce it. So, if uh, he has 5 brilliance, the Hungering Darkness gets killed, it spawns back touching Jacob Lynch, it heals 5, he takes 5. And this is only once per turn. So, if they kill it, it goes next to Jacob Lynch, and then they kill it again, it cannot come back. Uh, so you'll so you sort of want to be careful because if Jacob Lynch is right by the enemies when the hungering darkness dies, it's very easy that it could just spawn right back by the enemy. So uh, for his actions, so his only attack is tear apart, and it's an okay attack action. Uh, stat six, one inch. Uh, and it has a built-in trigger to give you an extra damage. And since he has the brilliance on him, you basically can have a 3, 4, 6 if you want it. And that's pretty okay. He also has the trigger to give them brilliance tokens, but considering you have to have the cart, the suit for it, eh, I think it just could maybe happen, but that's not what you're going to be going for. Uh, so Dragged Into the Dark is awesome. So naturally, uh, he can only do the Hungering Darkness, Illuminated, or Depleted. Because they're the only ones where he can do it to HD uh, no matter what. But uh, Illuminated and Depleted both start off with three Brilliance Tokens. So right away, he can uh, get someone who's six away, bring them up, put them in front of him. So that gives, you know a model like seven inches of movement possibly uh, probably the coolest thing you can do though is if you target a enemy model you can take it and place it behind Jacob Lynch and then it could and it's just like you dragged it into all of your monsters and that's just awesome it can just totally isolate a guy out of nowhere they do have to have three or more brilliance though but there's ways to make it not so crazy that they could have that much. And a very important thing is that there's no resist. So if you hit a model with it, it's just gonna go. Uh, so Looming Eclipse, it's sort of a weird one. I don't think you're gonna do this every turn. But you basically remove a Brigham's token from Jacob Lynch. You can put it onto one of your Honeypot guys, and it heals two and gains a Brilliance. Easy way to heal the Hungering Darkness, or just some of your random guys, and it spreads the brilliance around. Uh, and then you got Feed the Darkness. It's it's not as good as his old uh, free action, but still pretty good. So until the end phase, models that end their activation within range must pass a TN12 Willpower Duel, or gain a Brilliance Token. Friendly models may choose to fail this duel. So basically, any of his guys that in their activation within six can just choose to just get a brilliance token. And uh, the enemies, you know, they got to do the willpower duel, but there's still a chance. Uh, it has the inner glow trigger, but it's not built anymore, and that sort of sucks. But what the inner glow trigger sort of does on this action is since this is at the end of their activation, the trigger just sort of lets you get a burst out right then. So I could see that if you have a 5 of RAM, you could definitely save it for this, just to have a burst of brilliance tokens and a heal right away. So, Master Hunt Green Darkness, what do we get from this? I mean, not a lot that wasn't already known. Ah. Uh, so he has a decent melee attack with good stats and damage. 246 
is nice with a two inch range and stat six. I mean, it's just a good attack. Uh, he can critical strike. He can get the light inside automatically, so he puts a brilliance token on him, and there's a chance that you can make him discard a card. Cool. Uh, he has a pretty decent obey. Like, it does have a T and a 14. It's got the built-in suit, though, and uh, it also gives them a brilliance token, and obeys are very powerful. There's so much stuff you can do with obeys. I don't even know everything you can do with it, but that's one of the best actions in the game. You can make your guys go do stuff, the enemy go do stuff. It's very, very powerful. And with him going up to 3 AP, it's very strong. Uh, he does have a little bit of defensive stuff, even though he only has 8, eight health. He has Terrifying 11 could do something or at least make someone burn some cards uh incorporeal so just minus one damage to zero this lets him move through stuff move of six so he can sort of hustle around especially if he has three ap and the new demise eternal threat that you get with the new J jacob lynch uh you know he has he has a little bit of survivability like nothing crazy but he's got some uh Devouring Need also buffs his attacks a decent amount. Uh, since both of his attacks just automatically sort of give them a brilliance, as long as they have one, you can just sort of always get a positive flip to the duel, and that's nice. Uh, and the Consume Brilliance, his free action, uh, basically he removes a brilliance token off of everyone in range, And, uh, and then he heals one for each brilliant token move this way. And then enemy models have to pass a TN14 willpower duel. So, you know, a pretty decent duel. They got to get an 8 if they have a 6, you know, or gain slow. So, that's not always going to come up. But, man, that would feel nice if it did. So, how do they compare? the uh old Jacob Lynch in this in uh the new Jacob Lynch. So they both have things that make them unique. Old Jacob Lynch can passively put brilliance on enemies through a couple of his abilities and uh has ranged attacks. Uh with proper planning he can even summon minions. It's sort of hard, you know, they gotta have enough succumbed so you don't just get a uh depleted but if you sit upright, you could get a good minion. With basically no downsides. I think they get slow. And then his this this rounds on me is uh it's a pulse instead of an aura. So uh it's sort of give or take, but it has the built in inner glow, which I think sort of makes it a little bit better than uh Jacob Lynch Dark Bats. So I think this I think old Jacob Lynch is probably stronger on his own. But uh, with uh, the Jacob Lynch Dark Bet title buffing Hungering Darkness, I think I might like the new title more, or at least prefer it. Uh, the new Jacob Lynch, it seems like he needs less brilliance stacked on enemies, because they mostly need the brilliance to uh, buff their attacks or to move them, and they don't need as much stacked up to try to summon as old Jacob Lynch. So that's definitely one of the main uh, differences I'm seeing. Uh, but I haven't got to play the new Jacob Lynch yet, so we'll have to see how it actually changes stuff. So the new Enforcer, the Soul Battery, uh, and then in the new box with the new Jacob Lynch, you're also going to get this guy. And uh, he's sort of a weird one. I, I wish they would have went with a more powerful, cooler guy than this. But for a four-cost model, I could see people actually taking him. Because uh, he doesn't do a ton, but he does a lot for four soul stones, I think. Uh, he can just passively hurt or heal with his aura. Uh, empower gives people pluses to their attacks if they spend a soul stone. 
Uh, so if you stone for a certain trigger, you can also get a plus to the duel. Uh, he has hard to kill and five health, so he's a little he's a little bit tanky for a four cost model. He's gonna li at least live two hits probably. Uh, energy drain not useful. Look to the end a little bit useful solely because you can put brilliance tokens on people. Uh, desperation. I haven't figured it out 100% yet, yet myself, but I think it can be pretty strong because uh, if you get in on someone early, they could use it uh, defensively, possibly. Because uh, like if you just get something low, just one damage, just get something higher, and uh, you might go from you know a neutral flip to a negative flip or maybe even win. Not to mention even if you might have to use it on your attacks. So this guy... I'm honestly disappointed in this guy. He just feels unimportant compared to some of the other ones that have come out, the new enforcers. But I think he could be good enough. You could take him, possibly. I, I also have to see, like I said, I haven't got to play with the new stuff. Uh, so next video, I might do a video on the new Hamlin title. Uh, I actually t contacted Weird to see if like they were going to have other people spoil the rest of the titles or not. And it sounds like they're not going to. I really don't know, but they they just said I could make this video because I didn't want to stomp on someone else's feet if they like got the, the Jacob Lynch and Leviticus stuff to do their reveal on. So I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, so I might do Hamlin next. Uh, thank you for watching. If you got any interesting stuff, comment it down below. Uh, subscribe if you want. I have not been posting frequently at all, but I really wanted to make this video since I like the new Jacob Lynch. So, uh, yeah. So, peace.